a quarter of seven in the morning, I woke up having a seizure, which was uh, my left face was twitching and my left hand was, was jerking. And uh, I called my doc on the phone and he said, why are you calling me? Let's call 911. The ambulance came and they took me to the hospital and the attending doctor for neurointensive care unit came in and showed me pictures on the screen of here's your brain and here's this big blob that shouldn't be there and that's a cancer. And a few days after that I had the diagnosis of the astrocytoma. Astrocytomas are not very common. I would say there are approximately 30,000 new cases of malignant astrocytoma per year. About 12 to 15,000 of those are actually glioblastomas, which are the most cancerous of these cancers. Patients with glioblastoma uh, typically survive an average of about 15 months. Emotionally, that was tough. I have three boys, and you know I needed to get information to them so that they could feel comfortable with you know, the diagnosis and whether they were involved, you know, whether this is genetic. They were a little freaked out. But each day got a little bit better, and the seizures were very quick to, you know, take care of in terms of treatment. So, you know, I sought out what are the different treatment options, had long discussions with uh, Dr. Aiken and all his team in terms of what are the different treatments. The current standard of care in the management of these tumors is primarily radiation and chemotherapy. The shortcomings of the therapy is, is that it's generally effective only for a finite period of time. Uh, resistance develops, and then progressive disease sets in, which is resistant to most other treatments, and ultimately the patient uh, dies of the disorder. The uh, clinical trial question came up when uh, a couple months ago, things had changed dramatically in terms of what was happening up in my brain. The brain tumor had grown, for, really for the first time since radiation and the original chemotherapy. The original chemotherapy was not working anymore. In other words, it was resistant. And at that point, we had sort of several things that we could do. And one of them was this particular clinical trial that had not been done so much on, on this kind of brain tumors, but had been done on different kinds of tumors and had been shown to be highly effective. The goal of this clinical trial is to uh, recognize that there are other ways to target uh, these kinds of cancers. At this particular point in time, we have chosen a targeted therapy, which identifies a certain abnormal receptor which sits on the surface primarily of the cancer cells and we have developed a way using a small molecule to identify and target these cancer cells more or less exclusively by targeting these cancer cells and inhibiting this receptor which sits on the surface of these particular cells we can drive these cells to die selectively like anything else, you, you try it and you see how it goes. And you know, the first six weeks or so has been pretty good. Um, another couple of weeks, go for another scan, we'll see how that is. But so far, you know, relatively few side effects and pretty much same, you know, activities of daily living are going on. My long-term goal is to outlive everybody that has brain cancer of my type. Hoping to be the poster boy for this particular drug and that this will be the drug that shows that things are curable. That's a word that the neuro-oncologists don't use. They use the word containment, which is a tougher term to, to hear as a patient. We like to hear the word cure. We have a new drug, which is quite active, which is available by mouth which has few side effects. Most of these people have exhausted all of the standard treatment options and are doomed to die without something else. I'm hoping that this clinical trial will take me long distance. You know, the first medication that I was on uh, took me for maybe about 15 months. 
before it stopped working. I'm hoping this one will take me a little longer than that and that I'll get to some of my other goals. Dr. Aiken is wonderful. He's a wonderful source of inspiration and in saying that things are going okay or we need to change. And, you know, he's really been there from the very beginning to know that not only am I cared for, but I'm cared about. My hope is that after 15 years of work uh, that we can finally demonstrate that targeting this particular receptor does result in effective treatment of brain cancers. Since there are a number of other cancers that also appear to work by similar principles, my hope is that there will be significant interest in applying this principle to those cancers as well. I demand cures today because we need help. This is a tumor that is not commonly known about, and we need to have some research into why and what will help. And Gateways, as well as many other uh, groups, have come up with research dollars to fund studies that are helping people like me to hopefully get to the cure word rather than the containment word. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the people who have donated their time and energy and money to do the research to get me to this day so that I can be there for my kids. Thank you. <laughs>